Hey everyone, this is Jenny Street with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I have my girl Sadie here with me today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get an asymmetrical haircut using my new Saki shears. Let's go and get started. All right, so I'm gonna actually do some dry cutting on her. Now her hair is fairly straight, but if you guys are working with a little bit wavy hair, I certainly unrecommend if you did it when it's damp. So what we're gonna do is create our first cut and our first section. So we're just gonna go ahead and from the hairline back to the nape is create our first section of hair. So we're gonna over direct all of this hair up because we wanna keep all of the perimeter length there. So we're gonna go ahead and over direct it all up. And then we're gonna make our first cut from here to there. So we're just cutting a small amount off. So we made our first cut. So now we're gonna go ahead and take another section here. About a half an inch section behind that section, creating another one from hairline to the nape of the neck. We're gonna over direct all of that hair to our previous section and again, cut it completely straight and square. We're over directing because that's what's gonna create that asymmetrical feel to it. Taking section by section, pulling it up and then cutting it completely square. So you can see our guide right here. Again, we're over directing this hair to the first previous section and cutting it. And you want some of this hair to fall out because that's keeping our perimeter long. We're gonna do the same technique, working alongside the head, left to right, parting the hair, half inch sections and over directing it to our previous section. So again, we're just moving alongside the head shape. So now we're going left to right, taking another section from hairline all the way down to the nape and over directing it to that first initial section. So now we're just gonna go ahead and continue taking the same sections, about half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and over directing it to that first initial section. Over directing it up and cutting it square. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and over direct all of the hair to that first initial section. Doing it in sections here. I love these shears that they're all black too. For this, all we're gonna do is comb the hair straight down and then slightly angle our comb. And we're just gonna go ahead and point cut to go that angle. So we're gonna go ahead and comb it out, make sure it's nice and tangle free. Pull all the hair back, comb it out, angle it out, and point cut it with your shears pointing up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and deep point cut the whole perimeter. How the hair is gonna lay, it's gonna lay asymmetric on the right hand side, but we want a little bit more movement. We wanna shag it out a little bit for this type of edgy feel. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the hair Flip it up and then do some deep point cutting with our sake shears. Comb it out. You can see that that gave it a little bit of softness and then continue to do that on our perimeter. So we're just working up the shape of the head, texturizing. And why it's good to do this and deep point cut is because it's gonna give her hair a lot of seamless layers. It's gonna give it a softer kind of feel to it. And then it's gonna help thin it out as well because Sadie has um, pretty thick hair. So 
So now after we've texturized the whole thing, now that we've texturized all of our hair, we're just gonna go ahead and section it out from the front of her face, so in front of her ear here. And we wanna go ahead and connect these. So we're just gonna go ahead and over direct it and then do some light point cutting just to connect it. So I'm gonna actually take quite large sections when doing this. I wanna create just a little bit of bend and kind of a rock and roll, roll kind of feel. So now we're gonna curl the hair and I just wanna add some bend. I wanna keep it a little bit more edgy. So we're just gonna take large sections, taking a one inch curling iron, clamping at the middle of the hair, easing through the hair tongue and releasing, almost keeping our ends a little straight. Now that we've curled all of our hair, I'm just gonna lightly brush it out with my fingers. You guys can see all those fun new layers we created. I'm gonna take some Shine Spray by Kinra and then just kind of spray and lightly kind of um, brush it out with my fingers. This is gonna give a lot of definition to the hair. All right, so there you guys have it, a gorgeous asymmetrical haircut. And if you guys want more intense educational training from me, I actually have my own educational app. I'll go ahead and put the link below, but it's a subscription service, so definitely check that out.